This is a fabulous space. The room is just great. And we intend to not use just about any of the ambient light that's in here. It was all flat black, everything, the floor, the ceiling, the walls, the entry area. In the show you're doing, we're replicating that room. The black room. I actually developed this one particular piece based on a physicist that was involved with life support systems for the Apollo landing on the moon the habitability of a closed environment and how people deal with themselves under those circumstances. All that was a bunch of hooey to me, but what wasn't was this scientist told me about his study of a tribe in South America that had a traditional war with another tribe just over the river or something like that. It was a traditional event. Both tribes had developed a sense of bodily function that allowed them to will a wound to close and not bleed, to be able to understand how your arm feels, to understand anything about how your basic functions feel, to be able to control them. It occurred to me that the same thing would work if one could figure out how to feel the muscles that dilated the pupils of your eye. And could you walk into a dark space and immediately tell your eyes to open up or do you have to wait a particular amount of time? So I built the Black Room in a show called Spaces at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And I would go in there and I had to see the reflected light from something that I put in the room. And I got pretty good at it. So it was, in fact, possible. The piece was conceived at a time when there was a lot of social commentary over what was and what wasn't art. We're way past all those things now. It's simply a matter of walking in and being open to finding what's in there in this blackness.